guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here hi my name is sarah if you're returning thank you so much for coming back so today's video is going to be an interesting one i'm so excited to film this video i don't know if you guys can tell but i'm excited 2021 has come to an end and 2022 is coming i know that a lot of us have starting a business on our vision boards or goals or whatever for 2022 and i've gotten quite a number of questions about business related videos so just know you're going to be getting a lot of that this video is going to be on how to start a business in 2022 basically um, it doesn't matter if you want to start on a large scale on a small scale whatever this video is for you but I just want to point out that this video is mainly for a product based business so if you want to render let's say digital services or anything service related this isn't really for you this video is I'm going to make a video on that too but then this video is specifically for product related businesses if you want to be your own boss even if you just want to start a business as a side hustle so whatever it can never really hurt to have a business but this video is definitely for you if you want to hear all i have to say then keep watching so the first point is knowing the market you want to go into do your research find out what business do i want to start what market do i want to go into you want to go into beauty clothes whatever it is just make a choice and decide what market it is you want to go into and then the next step is knowing where you're going to source your products from knowing where you're going to get your products from and then finding your vendor so those two come hand in hand knowing where you're going to of course when you know where you're going to source your products from that's where your vendors come in so that brings us to the sponsors of this video this video is sponsored by alibaba.com thank you so much to alibaba.com for sponsoring this video so i'm going to be telling you guys about alibaba.com and um, before i even get into that you guys know that i've made i think about two or three videos and i've spoken about this brand this is actually a brand that um i have used before i've used this brand to literally start all my businesses if you don't know what alibaba.com is alibaba.com is one of the biggest online commerce platforms they basically have a whole lot of vendors a whole lot of suppliers and these vendors and suppliers have been verified they've been verified by alibaba.com they are very professional it doesn't matter if you want to start a small business or a large scale business they have um, vendors that have low moqs they have vendors that have high moqs depending on whatever it is you want to um, start they have an app also but the website is very very easy to use i'm going to show you guys how to use the website i'm just going to run you guys through the whole process um, on this website you're able to go on the website and search for wholesale vendor and purchase products to sell to your customer um, i get questions a lot on where i get my vendors from alibaba.com is one of the main platforms see literally let me say like 80 percent of my vendors are from alibaba.com they are very reliable and they have verified sellers one thing i personally look out for is a vendor that has been selling uh, let me say two years and above on the website so on the website you can see how long the vendor has been selling for i have a couple of vendors that I use that have been selling for less but yeah so they have vendors that have low MOQs like I said which is great for small businesses or large-scale businesses it doesn't matter you can talk to different vendors compare prices compare products decide what it is you want to get and talk to the vendors you tell them exactly what it is you want you can send pictures also to your vendors just to explain what it is you want if you decide that oh you want to take samples you can order samples before your big order like you guys know if you watch my previous videos I always talk about getting samples especially when you're going for products that have different qualities for anything that has to do with branding printing has my logo on it or anything like that i've done all of that from alibaba.com the vendors will show you samples before they start printing your work just to make sure that oh you're getting the right thing you want they have different ways of searching you can just simply type in whatever it is you're looking for they also accept pictures so you can search with pictures for what it is you want to get i'll show you guys how to use the app make sure you click the link below and start shopping on alibaba.com i highly highly recommend them i've used them a lot of times you guys know i've spoken about them in my video thank you to them for sponsoring this video again and yeah let's get to our next point now if you want to know how to talk to vendors how to communicate with vendors i have a video on that i'm going to to link it somewhere above so you can talk to your vendors go back and forth but again do all of that After you've done all of that the next thing place order for samples which is optional i've told you guys before like there are some items that i don't order for sample like current business i'm starting in 2021 you guys are going to go with me on this process 
of starting this business i'm so excited for it so yeah now that you've spoken to your vendor you've decided the quantity you want and all of that the next thing you want to do is to set goals i feel like with setting goals it's very tricky because some people will tell you oh set realistic goals you don't want to set unrealistic goals and then disappoint yourself but i would say you should set two types of goals the realistic ones that you know that okay you can reach and then the somewhat unrealistic ones i wouldn't say they are really unrealistic because i like to tell people to dream big dream big dream big yeah because you never know like it's possible that you smash all the goals on the unrealistic plan so once you set your goals long-term goals short-term goals bigger goals smaller goals just set all those goals next thing you want to do is to set a marketing strategy why i'm saying you should set your goals before your marketing strategy is that you um, you look at your goals and then you use your goals to set your marketing strategy of, oh okay i want to get to this place what do i need to get to this place for example i want to make seven thousand naira every week from your business just an example so how can i get to that just know that you need to sell something of at least one thousand naira every day and that way every week you're getting seven thousand naira every month you're getting about twenty eight thousand naira do you understand set your marketing strategy based on your goals you know that you want to make one thousand naira every day what do i need to do to make one thousand naira every day i need to promote more how am i going to promote yeah that's i also have a video on how to promote your business how to push your business out there how to generate more sales you can just go through my becoming your own boss series i have more videos on that i missed a point here yeah. one of the first things you even need to do i don't know how i missed that i was just looking at my list now and i saw that i think you need to get your finances in order yeah that's one of the first things you need to do you need to know what you can afford that's even before you start um talking to vendors doing all of that get your finances in order i don't even know how how i missed that point know what you can afford know the quantity you can afford you know we Ali, the good thing is that with alibaba.com it's not a retail platform it's mainly for business owners but then whether you're starting on a larger scale on a smaller scale it doesn't matter there's a vendor for you trust me just take your time search um ask for videos like i always say pictures all of that i decided to keep this video very short and simple because i don't want to be rambling and talking a lot because honestly if i say i'm going to sit down and like talk about all the things it's going to be so long but i feel like starting a business is divided into like a lot of sub sessions sub sections but a lot goes into like marketing yeah like your marketing is where like a lot of the work is yeah your marketing and like doing your research before you start i've spoken about that in another video once you've drawn your plan you know how you're going to market your products you know how you're going to push your products to the audience you know your target audience you know people that you're targeting all this comes in in your uh, marketing strategy and how you plan your business of course the next thing is to launch always have a plan b if this marketing strategy doesn't work what will i do always have like five different ways that you know that you want to promote your business honestly in case one doesn't work but hopefully it will work and i think i just want to point out is be patient with yourself not everything is going to work for you but then another thing is that you just need to be patient just be patient with yourself sometimes it's not it's not always a good idea to give up immediately i have given up immediately on some of my businesses but it's not always advisable to give up immediately just give it a little more push and just know that not what works for this a might not work for you so because you're seeing your um, this person on instagram posting that oh they're starting their skincare business they're getting so many sales and you don't even have any idea of skincare you're currently struggling with your own skin and then you decide that oh you want to start a skincare business and you think that oh because that person is succeeding it's going to happen for you that might not be the case that might be the case but that most likely it won't be the case because your goals are not clear for why you're starting your business just be very clear on your goals why you're starting so be patient with yourself and um, do your research 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 just make sure that you have enough knowledge on what you're getting yourself into don't just go into a market because everybody's doing that or everybody's saying that or because a started it and she's succeeding mm -hmm no you don't want to do that so i've said this before and i'm saying it again a lot of my business ideas or ideas i've helped people with honestly comes from me just sitting down and scrolling through alibaba.com even though you don't know the business you want to start yet you just know that you want to start a business even if you haven't decided just go on the platform there are different categories there's clothing different things kitchen things 
see there are different things go on the website just scroll through the website and you never know what ideas may come from that your website is very easy to navigate very user friendly there's nothing complicated about it you can log in open an account that will help you to like communicate with vendors just scroll through the app look at different things you can see some things and you'll be like oh i think there's a need for this item in the market bring it next thing you're cashing out <laughs> yeah one thing i just want to point out is always look for an item that there's a need for in the market that's like a tip that's like my special tip something that is needed in the market but there's no um there's no supply something that needs supply yeah and then you be the supplier so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video just expect more business related videos and i'll see you guys in my next video bye yeah